Hey cosplayers, are you working out of an apartment or a small space to make your cosplay props and costumes? If you are, raise your hand. If you know somebody who's working out of a small space or an apartment to make their props and costumes, raise your hand. If you raise your hand, then I want you to comment in the comments below with the word small space. Because in this video, we are going to be covering three alternatives to spray paint for painting your cosplay props and costumes. All right. With that, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so and hit that bell notification so that uh, you can be notified of all of our cosplay prop tips and clips and tricks <laughs> that come out. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and jump in. So I've got three alternatives here that I find to be very handy when trying to paint in a small space without using spray paint. We're starting off, um, I love these uh, paint pens especially for the, the metallics. They do come in, in other colors, a variety of colors and things like that. Now, I don't necessarily recommend these for like a full out like paint job. Like for example, on this Black Panther helmet, I wouldn't do the whole thing in black like paint pen, but for the little detail pieces like this, um, these are perfect. So I did the, this with the, the silver uh, paint pen here, and I've used the gold on many other occasions as well. I also used the silver here for this uh, eyepiece. Um, we actually have a video on how to do superhero eyes like this. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. But these things are great, especially for those little uh, details or highlights or some of those smaller sections that you need to get um, without using spray paint. Uh, next up is obviously going to be um, kind of your go-to for the most part. So if you are doing larger uh, sections and different things like that, it's going to be your acrylic paints, right? These are things you can easily uh, paint with, with a brush in a small space, you know, low odor. Uh, no problems, anything like that. Um, they dry quickly so that you can uh, do you know, multiple layers or whatever you need to do, uh, one on top of another. Uh, acrylic paints are great. I, I will, once again, I'll link to all of these in the description so that you can check them out. Um, I like these uh, Liquitex Basics um, acrylic paints. They've been working really well for me as of late. And then you know, once again, you just put, those, put that on with a brush. If you get a nice brush, you're gonna reduce your brush stroke potential, uh, which I, I would recommend. Um, and then third, which is a really good alternative, especially to spray paint, and this is going to be a little bit more of a step up, um, is going to be using an airbrush. And you'll want to just make sure that you do have some way to be able to ventilate these things properly and stuff like that. Um, so you're not breathing in atomized uh, paint and that kind of stuff. Now you can get um, specific paints for an airbrush. You can also utilize uh, acrylic paints by uh, thinning it down with an airbrush paint thinner solution. Uh, we actually have a video coming up soon on how to make your own airbrush paint thinner and cleaner. So I picked this up at uh, Harbor Freight. Now I don't recommend too many things from Harbor Freight, but this thing has been awesome. I think it was only 20 bucks. And if you take good care of it, you clean it out well, um, then it, it continues to work great. It's dual action. Um, so it's, you know, got, uh, some good control over your spray and everything like that. So I would recommend this. Uh, it's an inexpensive way to get in and then you can always upgrade to uh, more expensive airbrushes after that. Um, but yeah, so once again in that list, we've got uh, paint pens, especially for details, that kind of thing. Your acrylic paints that you can paint on with a brush and then your airbrush, which is gonna allow you to be able to get more of that, um, you know, finer detail or blending and, uh, you know, with that atomized paint from the airbrush, you're gonna have a lot uh, smoother finish like you would get from uh, a spray paint where you can just get really thin, uh, nice coats. Now, as a bonus, um, when you go to finish off your, your piece and kind of uh, seal it all in, give it a clear coat, instead of using an aerosol spray clear coat, you can actually use this Pledge Revive It Floor Gloss, um, which works really well. This is very popular in the little model makers um, realm uh, world. Um, it used to go by a different name. I think uh, Pledge Floor Finish, something like that. Uh, this is their newest label version of it. And this just works great. You can just brush it on with a, a brush as well. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, these are three different alternatives to be able to paint uh, your props and costumes without uh, spray paint. And when you're working in a small space or an apartment. And if you liked this, please give it a like. If you know if someone that would benefit from this, uh, share it with them, spread the love, help them out. And uh, yeah, if you didn't like it, dislikes is fine too, uh, whatever. But uh, let me know in the comments below, uh, what is your greatest challenge when it comes to painting your cosplay props and costumes? 
and that will help me to be able to answer your question in a future video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and cosplay on my friends. See ya.